Hello, this is the Clone Trooper, and uh, here's a new video for, <laughs> for July. <laughs> so I've been out. I haven't been able to make videos in a long time because the program I used was a little busted. But it turns out it was just a preset that I designed myself, which explains everything. <laughs> but it's working now, so this should this is gonna be the beginning of new videos. Now, just to tell you what is going to happen from this point on is for maybe the rest of the month there will only be a video once a week every Wednesday maybe 4, 4 o'clock ish is when it will come out so to kick things off here is a custom that I recently made only a couple days ago and I'm pretty impressed with it uh, hopefully if I did this video correctly in the YouTube settings this uh, when I start talking about the actual set the custom will go on the left side of the screen and a picture of what it's based on will go on the right so this is from Star Wars Commander it is called a ATMP, which stands for All Terrain Missile Platform. When I first saw it, I was. Mm, I didn't like it. But now that I've actually built it in Lego, I'm starting to like it. So, as you can tell, I got a Rebel Soldier right next to it, because that's usually what this ATMT is targeting. And the, the Walker itself is about 3 minute figures tall. Maybe five or six wide and I don't know I don't I haven't played Star Wars Commander for myself so I'm, I'm not quite sure how tall Wik Wikipedia wanted to say how tall it is or how wide so I just did the best I could to get the overall like size of it correct and the feel um, if you've noticed one of the missiles is missing that's because while I was building it I accidentally shot it over my bed and I have no idea where it went because those are the uh, new spring loaded flick flyers and those things are I don't know I think they're the most appropriate for this set since it's a missile platform and yeah so I'm gonna bring it in closer if it falls I'm gonna be sad because that's like the major problem with it right now is the this head part with the missiles is so heavy in the front that it likes to fall down based on how I put it together in the back there you can see it that blue pin oh. sorry about that that blue pin is what's put connecting the torso to the legs and so then the rest of it's all these different hinges for the legs that you can see here here and here that pin has caused me so oh, there see there's the problem it likes to do that a lot I tried adding some weight in the back but I guess I should make it thicker but yeah so I have to usually aim it up like that uh, the side paneling here on the missiles is not like the actual actual it's not like the photo I was using for reference because I don't know I I don't have, because it looks like it's mostly dark gray, gray, and like light gray. I don't have any of the Lego light gray of the blue, blue, blue gray stuff. So I decided just to use gray for most of the, that detailing. And then these panels are pretty huge and I don't have any of the red on them yet. You can also tell I don't have like the face right here. And uh... Yeah, just anything that like is detail that you would need for, or at least what Lego would use a sticker for is what I'm gonna have to use for. Um, I did try and give the legs those little, I don't know, like the little shield on the knee cap. I I think it turned out all right. Um, but yeah, so there's a. I don't know, the technique for this headpiece right here is I am not very happy with it. 
I haven't finished it because as you can see there's a huge gap right here. Thank you head for falling down. But there's a big gap. I'll lift it. I'll put it back up like that. Look at that. I'm pretty sure that's all supposed to be filled in in the photo. So this is just a prototype. I like to build uh, my like customs with real bricks and then either one I'm not happy with it completely or I can't build it with real bricks then I go on to Lego Digital Designer which is a free program by the way um, <laughs> for those of you that want to uh, digitize your stuff I use that program uh, for any things I can't do S with like uh, I'm trying to remember what customs like most of the larger customs I'm, I'm planning on doing like any starships or any of the major walkers are probably gonna have to be designed in Lego Digital Designer first. But stuff like this, I have enough parts in my collection where I can just build it out and feel it. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this custom. It looks like what it's supposed to be. You guys can be the judge of that. If I, if I don't have the photo on the right side of the screen with the split vertically, then I'll put the I'll link the picture in the description below. And yeah. Thanks for watching guys. This has been the Clone Trooper. I'm really happy with this custom. And there's more to come. Um since the last video what was that back in uh March, February-ish? Since then I've built nine customs, including this one. So there's eight more that you're gonna be able to see. Plus I've got a new base, a new mock I'm going to review, and I've got new sets because it was recently my birthday, and so I was able to get some new sets, and you're going to be really, really happy about one set because it's going to have a time lapse, and it's going to be awesome, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. I always like reading your guys' comments, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.